Hello students, welcome to today's class. In this class, we will discuss about the bones of skull. In previous classes, I have covered bones of hand and bones of leg. You can watch those videos also. The link of those videos you can get in subscription box. So this lecture I am taking in English. Another lecture on same topic will be covered in Hindi. You can also watch that video if you want to see this video in Hindi. Let us start. The bones of skull. There are 22 bones in our skull which are divided into two groups. What are those groups? These are cranium and face. So what is cranium? What is face? We will discuss them separately. First of all, cranium. Actually cranium is made up of eight bones. Cranium is a cavity in which brain lies safely. So you can see in this picture that these bones covers the brain and forms the cranium. Okay, so cranium is made up of eight bones which are frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital, sphenoid and ethmoid bones. We will discuss them one by one. First is frontal bone. As name suggests, it is in the front. It forms our forehead. So this bone is frontal. Here you can see it just starts above the eyebrow, above the nose and complete forehead is formed and approximately half of the head is also formed. The type is flat bone. Here you can see so this portion is made up of frontal bone. So we can see here the location of frontal bone. It is situated here. So only one bone is there. So total bone studied by us up to this level are 127. Next one is parietal bones. These are flat bones and number are two. One is in the left side and one is in the right side. Now we should think that where is the location? Its location is, it forms the roof of the head. You can see here in this picture, one bone is this, it is behind the frontal and another bone towards the other side. Okay. And here you can see these both bones these two parietal bones are there. Okay, so they forms the roof of the cranium. So these are two bones and total bones are 129. Now we come to another bone that is occipital bone. Occipital bone is only one bone and this is also a flat bone. It covers back and back of the head and some part of this bone like as this one this forms the base of the skull okay this is inferior view of our skull here you can see this one it covers back and base of the skull this is posterior view this is side view now we come to the another bone that is temporal bone. Temporal bone are again two in number and they are on side of the head. One is left, one is right. Here you can see important feature that there is an external auditory meatus for ear canal. Okay, so internal ear lies inside this bone and outer ear on the both side of head. If we see 
the location of this bone here it is just below the parietal bone this is one bone and another bone is towards other side two temporal bones are there next we come to sphenoid bone this is very a uh, smart bone how it is smart because it looks like a butterfly okay that's why we call it small bone uh, this bone the type of this bone is irregular bone and its location is at the base of cranium so if we see the inside of our cranial cavity we can see here this is the sphenoid bone okay this is occipital bone and in front of the occipital bone there is sphenoid bone okay so this is a special uh, space for pituitary gland to lie okay so pituitary gland lies here on the sphenoid bone this is a special feature of sphenoid bone so this is only one bone so here you can see up to this level we have studied 130 bones another bone of cranium is ethmoid bone ethmoid bone again very fragile bone very delicate bone and the type is irregular this bone is in front of a sphenoid here you can see this is sphenoid and this is ethmoid one part of ethmoid we can say it is superior part here this part can be seen from inside and this part both and this one these can be seen inside the nose okay so upper part this one and in the side these are the made up the parts which are made up of ethmoid bone okay so this is only one bone and here you can see the total number of bones which we have covered so these were the eight bones which form the cranium now we come to the bones of face what is face the bone which lies in front which forms our face these are facial bones and there are 14 bones which forms the face these are nasal lacrimal inferior nasal or turbinated bone zygomatic bone maxilla vomer mandible and palatine we will discuss these bones one by one dear friends these are very small bones and sometime you may find it difficult to recognize if they are individual but normally in examination they are in the form of skull so you can identify them by the location so first bone is facial bone uh, sorry facial bone under facial bone first is nasal bone as the name suggest they forms the part of nose so this upper part here you can see this is whole nose but upper part that is hard one this one this is formed by nasal bone so two are there one left one right here you can see one bone okay and another part this one is made up of cartilage you can see here so these are nasal bone and another part are made up of cartilage so these are two nasal bones so total bones studied till now 133 after nasal bone there are lacrimal bones so where are lacrimal bones lacrimal bone you can see here this one is lacrimal it is inside the orbital cavity okay so this one is the lacrimal bone if you want to see the shape it is like this okay so it is also a flat type of bone and two in number one in this side right and one is in this orbital cavity left side 
Okay, so total 133 bones we have studied. Next bone, maxilla bones. Okay, so maxilla is irregular bone here. So actually we call them maxillary bones. One here and one here, two maxillary bones. But when they come together here and join, we call it maxilla. Okay, so this is a maxilla and containing two maxillary bones. So what are the special feature uh, of this bone? This bone contains upper teeth and is also called as upper jaw. Okay, so this is the upper jaw which is not movable. Normally our upper jaw does not move. Okay. Approximate, uh, approximately all the bones of skull does not move. They are joined tight, tightly by means of sutures. We will discuss the sutures in another chapter that is joints. So here the only one bone is movable in the skull that we will discuss later that is mandible. Where is the location? You can see here the yellow colored part. This is maxilla. Okay. So this is the location of maxillary bone. Now we come to another bone that is zygomatic bone. This zygomatic bone is another irregular bone. This bone is also known as cheek bone because it is situated in the cheeks here. These are known as cheek bones. One here and one here. So two zygomatic bones are there which are forming the cheeks. Okay, so one left, one right, so total two bones and up to this level we have studied 135 bones. Now next bone is inferior turbinated bone or also known as inferior nasal concha. So inferior nasal concha is inside the nasal cavity. Okay. So this one, it is like this small flat bone which is like a shelf inside the nasal cavity. Here you can see one left side and one right side. Okay, so two nasal uh, uh, inferior turbinated bones are there. Inferior turbinated or inferior nasal concha. Here you can see middle concha or upper or superior concha. These are the parts of ethmoid bone. But here, this is a separate bone known as inferior nasal concha. Next bone is a vomer. Vomer is only one bone. It is also a flat bone. And it forms a part of nasal septum. Okay, posterior part of nasal septum. Here you can see its location. This is above the oral cavity inside the nasal cavity okay so this is the vomer bone side view and this is upper view okay here you can see this is the vomer bone from front if we see in the skull okay next are palatine bones palatine bones again are irregular bones and these are slightly L-shaped bone. Here you can see L-shaped bone. Okay. One and second. So two bones are there left and right and as the name suggests palatine bone they form a part of our palate hard palate. Okay. So when if we want to see the location we can see in from inside our mouth that this part is formed by maxillary bones and these are palatine bones okay so this part is made up of by these parts and these vertical parts are inside the nasal cavity they forms the walls of nasal cavity okay so two bones are there 
one left and one right okay now we come to the next bone that is mandible here you can see the type of mandible bone is flat and it has two parts these are vertical parts and these are horizontal parts and there is neck this is known as neck of the mandible it is slightly as l shaped bone you can see here it has two process these are two process condyloid and coracoid process this condyloid process attaches here with the temporal bone you can see and this is a movable joint this moves when we eat or when we talk okay this is the only movable bone of the skull so dear friends up to this level we have studied 148 bones till this level we have studied the bones of hand bones of leg and bones of skull so dear friends remaining part of skeletal system we will cover in next class please subscribe the channel so that you can get notification for upcoming lectures you can also visit my blog and my peter hand